Bioshock Infinite is an absolute spectacle. There's no beating around the bush. Columbia is a city you want to spend hours in. The protagonist Booker DeWitt is a man you want to learn more about. Your partner Elizabeth is a woman you will care deeply for. The combat will make you consider all elements of attack. And most importantly, this story will be unforgettable. Much like the original Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite throws us into a made-up city. Columbia is a floating sky city, taking place in the year 1912. You are Booker DeWitt, a man who has debt. In order to pay off your debt, you are told to go to Columbia to retrieve a girl. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is drilled into your head. Arriving to Columbia is without a doubt a beautiful experience. Unlike the original Bioshock, where Rapture was only experienced post-happiness, we're getting a look at Columbia in its finest hours. The city feels alive. From the citizens, to the building architecture, to the amazing soundtrack, everything is here. The girl you are retrieving is Elizabeth, and she will be playing a vital role in story, exploration, and combat. She's with you for most of the game, and she doesn't need to be babysat during shootouts. If anything, she's taking care of you. In the heat of battle, she can toss you a variety of things, like health packs or ammo. During exploration, she makes insightful comments and even finds money for you. You can even have her pick locks for you, too. In reality, you need Elizabeth, and what makes this companionship so strong is Elizabeth's character as a whole. Dialogue and voice acting is top-notch. Booker and Elizabeth's personalities feel so real. In the end, these are deep characters you'll care about. This is wonderful! Oh, come dance with me, Mr. Dwight! I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? When you get Elizabeth, the goal is to now take her back to New York. This is where chaos slowly starts to unfold as you learn dark secrets concerning Elizabeth and the city. Without spoiling much, this story has many themes. Religion, racism, politics, and war being the standouts. This fleshes out the realism of the story as a whole. There's many thought-provoking moments here, and this is what pulls you in for more. There are definitely some moments of confusion, though. I would have liked to have more clarity in what the player is being told. And you'll certainly know what I'm referring to when you play the game yourself. But ultimately, from the beginning to the jaw-dropping ending, this is a story you have to take a look at. Bioshock Infinite is more or less the same game mechanically to the original Bioshock. You can shoot powers from your left hand and shoot with weapons from your right. You have a health bar and you have a magic bar. These things are simply renamed here. Plasmids are now called Vigors and Eve is now called Salts. This would appear to be more of the same, but actually makes Infinite more natural to play. With the new city, characters, and gameplay tweaks, you're used to the game right away without having that stale factor. In terms of tweaks, your character now has a rechargeable shield, and you can no longer carry backup med packs or salts. If you have a full bar of both, that's all you can have. With this in mind, you approach fights in a different manner, using cover, peeking corners, and using vigors for better firing opportunities. What is disappointing is the constraint in weapons, allowing you to only carry two at a time. While all these changes still played great and made the game very enjoyable, they created one of the few problems I have with the game. With no way to hold multiple guns, med packs, and salts, the incentive to explore is a bit diminished. When exploring Columbia, I found plenty of ammo, med packs, and salts. But if you're already good to go, these are just shiny objects. After a while, I felt all my searching didn't return much reward. This feeling usually didn't last too long, because there are still some things to hunt for. Infusion bottles are hidden everywhere, and these increase your max stats for your shield, health, or salts. Then there's gears, which are basically the gene tonics from Bioshock 1. Lastly, there are voxophones and sightseeing machines. Voxophones are the audio logs for Infinite, and if you want the best story experience, looking for these is a must. Sightseeing machines allow you to get a tourist look at Columbia, detailing history of the city. So while I was bummed at some moments, exploration still yielded benefits. Two interesting combat mechanics you'll use throughout the game is Elizabeth's Terrors and Skylines. Skylines are a way to travel quickly around the city, and these can be used in combat. You jump on, shoot from, and leap off of them for execution. These were a blast to use. Then there's Elizabeth's Tears. Tears allow Elizabeth to bring in objects on command for your use, like instant cover or a turret. These not only play a role in combat, but story as well, and you'll definitely find yourself in a situation where you'll need them. For PS3 players, PlayStation Move support is here and it does work. It's not entirely easy to jump into, but you can certainly get a feel for it and play accordingly. The menu options allow you to control move sensitivity and dead zones for height and width. There's also presets for novice, intermediate, and advanced move players. 
If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? This is one of those games where when I finished playing, I was struck emotionally on multiple levels. Bioshock Infinite is undeniably fantastic in everything it's trying to do. Selling you on this city, these characters, this combat, this story, it's authentic. A plot element pops up, you're excited, you keep going, you get into a fight, you use your vigors, you use the skyline, you have fun, you finish the firefight, you keep moving on, you find a voxophone, it tells you more about the story, you start to learn more, and you just want to keep going. Everything to make a fantastic game is here. Now just bring them the girl, and wipe away the debt.